Hey yo, uh, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be showing you how to make wings slash vertical stabilizers slash horizontal stabilizers in the world of Stormworks for a airliner. So with that said, let's go ahead and get right into the video. Okay guys, so last episode I showed you how to build a fuselage for a airliner. This episode I'm going to show you how to build wings, vertical stabilizers, and horizontal stabilizers. So if you missed, or so if you don't know what a vertical stabilizer is, it's the thing at the back of the plane that controls the yaw motion. And a, a horizontal stabilizer is the thing right here that controls the pitch motion. And then finally, if you don't know, wings are wings. They keep you in the sky. They produce lift so the plane can fly. So how we're gonna do this is we're going to be doing a similar ratio of length for the actual wingspan. So it's gonna be 22 meters in length, or sorry, in width for the wings. So we have already uh, 3.25 uh, meters of, uh, that's the fuselage dimension, or that's the fuselage diameter, my bad. So we're going to be doing 10 meter wings, which that will be a good size for wings. So we'll go all the way out to right here, maybe. Um, we might go, yeah, that, that's, that seems like a good length. So let's go ahead and drag this out. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing a 1 to 2 ratio. So how it works is we're going to grab a 1 to 2 wedge or a 1 to 2 wedge series. And we're just going to drag it out. And then from there, what we're going to do is we're going to simply use a 1 to 4 block wedge. So which is a 1 by 4 block or 1 by 4 block series. So that's how you produce a wing sheep. Uh, sheep. My bad. Uh, shape. Shape, I meant to say. Not sheep, like a like the animal. Um, so we're just going to simply drag this all the way out to here. So we're going to delete this really quickly. Let's go ahead and cap it. Just like this. Well, not cap it, but add this right here. Then we're going to grab a 1x2 wedge, and we're simply going to go ahead and add this to be another layer. And then finally, we're going to add the top to the wing, just like this. So this is not the only way to make wings. There is many other ways but this is not the exact end of how you make a wing. So we're gonna go ahead and pick a random block, which is about a third to halfway out. And we're going to go ahead and mark it just like this on both sides. Yes, we do have it on both sides. And how we're gonna do it is we're going to go ahead and simply, simply select it. We're gonna cut it, remove it up a block. We're gonna clear content and do the same thing on the other side. So let's go ahead and go to selection grid and we're going to select all of it just like that okay let's go ahead and cut it and we're going to move it block up just like that okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and remove this block right here and then we'll go to the end of this actually you know what i forgot to do something really quickly so before you cut and paste those up um i'm going to go ahead and go back i'm going to say two blocks two blocks from here then i'm going to grab a one by four inverse pyramid just like this and we'll just drag it back to here so for this area, you're gonna to wanna to leave about, I would say this would be a fifth of the length, maybe a fifth of the length, and we're just going to make it flat just like that, or even more than a fifth. So this is going to be the area where the main flaps are, as well as uh, other things. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to simply place this here. Then we're going to grab a one by four wedge, a one by four block wedge, and we're just gonna drag it to here. Then right here, we're gonna add that, then, on top of that, we're going to add a 1x1 one one wedge, and we'll just add it just like that. So basically, you're just going to simply mirror the, mirror the wing so it's on top. Okay, there we go. Now, we're going to go back to our marked spot and cut the entire wing up. Well, cut and paste up one block just like that, the entire wing. Then we're going to do the same on the other side. So let's go ahead and go into selection grid just like this. Let's grab it. Let's go all the way back just back here, and we're going to simply cut it and paste it right here. Okay, there we go. Now, what we're gonna do is we're going to simply uh, delete four blocks of these. We're gonna grab a one by four pyramid, and we're just simply going to place it right here. And now we're gonna grab a one by four block wedge, and we're going to simply place it right here. Okay, so now we have the start of our slant. So what we're gonna do is we're going to go ahead and simply delete this right here, and then we're gonna place a one by four inverse pyramid so for this the front slant you can either do uh two by four inverse pyramid or a regular one by two inverse pyramid so as long as it's proportionally at the rate of one and two so if it goes uh so basically how that works is it goes two over 
and one back, two over one back, two over one back, and repeats. So that's, uh, that would be a two block series, or one to two series. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to simply place this right here, and we're going to smooth this off so that it um, it's covered up. Then we're gonna grab a one by four block wedge, and we're simply going to place it right here, just like that, and then we'll just simply drag this in to fill it in, and then over here, we're gonna go ahead and slowly slope this off. So about uh, roughly the same distance, we're gonna go ahead and go two sections, and then we'll just cut it off just like that. Now, we're gonna go ahead and grab a one by four block uh, for pyramid, I meant to say, and we're just simply gonna place it right there. And now we'll go ahead and connect this with a one by four block, one by four block wedge, uh, one by four wedge. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and switch to a one by four a two by four pyramid and we're just just simply going to drag it to about right here then what you can do from there is you're going to simply uh delete this and change this into a one by four block pyramid and right here if you want you can go ahead and change this to a pyramid as well it's totally up to you okay now we're going to go ahead and drag this back and we're going to delete these extra blocks so when we fill it in oh I deleted one too many, or one of the wrong block, okay. So we're just going to simply place those filler blocks so that we actually do have a complete wing. Okay, so what we're going to do here is within this section right here, we're going to go ahead and simply fill it in with wing blocks, just like this. There we go, okay, this should be good. So, um... Airlines, airliners don't really need that many wing blocks. I would say 10 would be good for 6,000. So I would say <clears throat> one every thousand blocks would be enough for two wing blocks. So actually it would be one every 500 kilograms, which these units are kilograms, I believe so. So there would be one wing block for every 500 kilograms. That would, um, that's, that's a good proportion, I would say. It could be wrong though, but I'm just gonna say that for now until I've been proven otherwise by an experiment which goes on. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and make our horizontal stabilizer, which controls pitch. So how you're gonna wanna do it is on the top row or near the top, just not on the top row itself. I'm, I meant to say a block down. So a block down or even two blocks down, we're gonna go ahead and place, or well not place, but delete these blocks so we can place these blocks right here, and we're gonna go ahead and grab fins, a fin rudder, and we're gonna use the fin rudder because it is a one block, one by three block, which, if you don't know, is the same as a one by three block slope, or a one by six block slope, whichever you choose. So you must remember to make the negative side side up um, for placing these. So what we're gonna do is we're going to simply drag this out six blocks and place two more, just like this, and. I think this should be good. So it's usually, I think it's, uh, I believe the number is a, th a sixth of, or sorry, a third of the size of the main wings. So actually, I forgot to do something over here. So let me go ahead and simply fill this back in just with this right here. And there we go. And for right here, I'm going to place this here. Okay. So that smoothens it out. I also forgot to do the bottom. So I'll just simply fill that back in. Okay. Back to the horizontal stabilizer. We're gonna go ahead and do, I think we'll go with this wide. Then we're gonna have a one by two wedge and slope it inward. You could also do a one by four wedge, which I think I might, I might do a one by four block wedge since these are, um, this is a one by six slope. So it'll go out, I think I'll just make it go out six more blocks. So let me drag this out six blocks, just like this. And there we go. Let me go ahead and place this along here. There we go. Actually, you know what? I think I, I don't like the look of it, so I think I'll go with the one by three slope, which would be um, every every single one of these will go one block further out. So I'll just simply place it like this, just like that. And that should be good. That should be wide enough. And there we go. I can go ahead and switch to one by two wedges and I'll drag it inward just like this. Uh, that is way, way too small, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, place one more of these. So the main purpose of the vertical, the horizontal stabilizer, uh, the way to make it look good is just trial and error, a lot of sheer trial and error. So it's just, 
It's just about getting the proportions correct. If it looks proportionally correct, then it is good to go. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and actually add another one of these really quickly. It might be too wide. Let me go ahead and look at the wings. So, a way you could zoom out of the plane is going into orbit mode, which some people already start with that. So, I think that looks proportionally wide enough. So, I'm going to go back into free mode and I'm going to start a 1x2 slant. So, let me go ahead and grab the 1x2 wedge and I'll just simply drag it to here. Okay. Um,. It looks, I think I'm gonna make it a couple blocks thicker. Just like this, just um, just to give it uh, a bigger shape, I, I'd say. So when you come into corners like this, what you can do is you can just simply place a uh, wedge along here. You can even do a one by four block wedge, just like that. Um, now if you get these, you can just simply fill these back in. So with this, I think we're just going to leave it as a one by one wedge. That I think will look best. So. Um, now, I'm going to go ahead and add some wing blocks, so I'm going to go ahead and grab the wing block itself, this wing block right here, and let's go ahead and place it in, the, um, let's go ahead and place it in the wing block itself, just like this. Alright, there we go. So, for the horizontal stabilizer, you don't need as much wings. Um, actually, you know, I think I'll just go with, uh, this slope right here, the slope right. So, another thing, another thing you could do is you could just add 1x4 block wedges just like that, it'll add, I would say, it adds, uh, what would the word be for it? It adds depth or curvature to it. So, actually, you know what? I think I might go with, yeah, I think that's fine. That'll probably work for this episode. So, now what you're gonna wanna do is you're going to go ahead and wanna drag it more towards the center, leaving, I would say, four or five blocks of space and what you're, what you're gonna wanna do is make the vertical stabilizer. So it is, um, my rule is 10% minus the actual length to here. So that'd be 37 blocks. It might be a little bit big. So I might go with 30% reduction. So that would be 12 blocks minus 40, which that would be 28 blocks in height. So we would go all the way up to here. Actually, you know what? I think 20 blocks would be good. So let's go ahead and uh, delete every seven blocks a block so we'd go up seven blocks just up to here so let's go ahead and um i think we're gonna go ahead and maybe go with just 14 blocks for the vertical stabilizer let me go ahead and lay it out and see what it looks like with 14 blocks only 14 blocks might be a little bit small for it so let's go ahead and add a slope down so for the actual slope you're gonna want to use something bigger than a one by two, or not something bigger, but you don't want to use a one by one block wedge because it it does look a little steep or doesn't go far back enough, but you can if you want, and if it looks good, that's great. So now after you get to the bottom, you're gonna to want to add an extra slope. So you could do it with either uh, one by ones, two by twos, or even four by fours. So if you get the four by four wedge, you could just drag it just like this. And there you go, you have the vertical stabilizer on your airliner. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and change this to one by three block slopes, or sorry, one by six. So every six blocks it increases one block. So this is six blocks right here. Now, if I go up six blocks from here, it'll be up to here. <clears throat> so I'd add two blocks to here, so this is um, so I can just add four blocks and there we go. I can, I made it a lot taller. So how I'm going to do this is I'm going to simply make a one by two block slope up. So I'm going to go ahead and place it right here. Uh, I'm going to add an extra slope down here, just like that. Okay. I think this is a little bit too tall. So let me go ahead and delete three blocks off that. And then right here, I'll just simply add this one by one wedge. So let me go ahead and grab a control surface, which would be the fin rotor in this case. So let me just simply place it just down like that. And there we go, we have our vertical stabilizer. Let me go ahead and add the wedge right here. Okay, there we go. So now let's go ahead and delete these and then fill this in, just like that. Um, I don't like this right here. So I think what I'll do is I'll just delete that top row and add a one by one wedge right there. So. This would be the vertical stabilizer on our plane. I think I might add these wedges 
I might make them go further. So let me just go ahead and add that just like that. Okay. I think I like the look of that a little bit better. But something, I don't know. Maybe it's, huh. I don't know. I think I'll actually just add three blocks more. So let me go ahead and add this on top. That way I could use the one by two wedge and I could just simply place it here, add that block there for support and then just add that there. Okay, I think I like that. I, I'll probably keep this. Okay, so another thing you could do to add depth or add a logo. So a logo, if you wanna add a logo, your vertical stabilizer has to be either uh, three blocks wide, one block wide, or sorry, to add a logo, your whole plane has to be on automatic blocks. If you want to do two blocks wide, which I would not suggest against, I'm not suggest it. But what you can do is you can add the one block wide wedges up to a certain point. So about a third of the way to the top, or however low, however high your logo goes. So then what you can do is you could just simply add a row of wedges or add a layer of wedges to make it more dense. But you'd have the depth to actually add a logo to it. So, uh, right here, since it doesn't go back all the way, what I could do is I could go ahead and grab a 1x2 wedge, line up with this, grab a 1x2 pier inverse pyramid, and I could just simply place it right here. Okay, so now let's go ahead and delete this inner part since it will be extra blocks and we don't need them there. We could just simply delete it just like that. Okay, we go ahead and just place that there. I do not like the look of this, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply add these right here. And then I will add a slope down, but at the bottom, I just, I'll just add that. Okay, so there we go. There's our vertical stabilizer. Um, but in the case of this, I think I'll just go to the very top since it's a little bit of bigger of a plane. So I'll just add this here, this here, as well as this here. Then at the top, I'll just add a simple wedge. And then this will actually, you know what? We could just add it simply like this. Then we could continue this slope all the way to the top, just like that. And there we go. So this will be our vertical stabilizer. So let me just simply delete these right here. Extra blocks if we don't need. All right, there we go. Um, I don't think I like the look of that. So what if I try add this slope right here? Like I said, it's all about trial and error. So let's go ahead and place that there. Um, I don't know. I think it's a little bit tall. I think I might just remove back down to here. So let's go ahead and grab a 1x2 wedge, and then we'll just add it here. Okay, then right here we'll just add this wedge, and then we'll fill this back in. So, I think... Um... I don't know, I think, I think it looks alright. So, we might... Might make it only... We might make this actual step in a little bit lower down. So maybe we'll make it, like, right here or something. So let's go ahead and add... This, or actually we'll just remove it all together. We don't really need a logo on this plane, so that's all right. We'll just leave it as that. Okay, so that's going to be it for the episode. Um, next episode, I will go over landing gear or how to do the engines or proper navigation lights and all the lights you actually need for the cockpit slash the plane. So with that said, I will see you guys in the next episode. So, with that said, I will see you guys in the next one, so thank you guys all so much for watching, don't forget to like, subscribe, and join the Discord, it'll be linked down below, and while you're at it, you might, you might as well turn on notifications, so you're notified every single time I upload. With that said, I will see you guys in the next one, so, bye for now.